Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I Was Here tells the story of Cody whose best friend Meg has committed suicide. Meg's parents asked Cody to go to her college and pick up the rest of her belongings. Cody didn't know that Meg was suicidal and in taking this trip and meeting her roommate, seeing where she was in college, she learns a few things about her, her best friend, and she also asks a lot of questions about why Meg killed herself, what happened, what drove her to that place, which probably aren't completely fair questions in that situation, but natural questions to someone who was left behind. Now, I gave this 3 out of 5 stars, but I would not discourage anyone from purchasing it. I feel like there are a ton of people out there who would enjoy this more than I did. If you've never picked up Gail Foreman before and you want to give it a try, this would be a good one. If you've loved every other one of her works, then of course you're probably going to pick this one up and enjoy it as well. I just personally feel like if you've read one Gail Foreman, you've probably read them all. She's got a very similar structure throughout all her stories and the same is true for I Was Here. She doesn't vary much from, from that structure. It's super predictable. You can see what's coming from a mile away. I feel like if anyone else had written the story, it would be less than three out of five stars. Gail Foreman is a great writer. She has a way of making these things dynamic and readable. I went through this in two sittings. When you kind of take a step back from that, from, you know, the way that she writes so fluidly and you just consider what the story is, it's super, super cliche. I want to talk about a character she meets. If you don't want to know about any of that, then click out. It's not very spoilery, but hey, she meets a guy. This happens within the first 20-30 pages so it's not a spoiler. She meets a guy over at Meg's college and if you can't guess what happens, <laughs> I don't think you've read YA before. She's got this virginal small town girl and this guy who's a rock star and you know kind of a, a womanizer and blah 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 like things you've already heard before. Again it ends up being road trip <laughs> several times. She takes a few trips but there ends up being a road trip component to this to this book. It's just things that are I just feel like if we took Gail Foreman's writing potential and actually put it with like a good plot, imagine the book that we would get. It's just so recycled. She does hit on a few feelsy topics, so I feel like if you have a particular sensitivity to um, the topics that she covers, maybe this might be more more appealing to you or might speak to you more more directly whereas I just felt like again it was all very manufactured very superficial there wasn't anything there that really struck me the one thing that I felt was done the best and it, because it was done pretty subtle like there wasn't this big confrontation or anything it just kind of happened while you were reading was a um, relationship between Cody and her mother which wasn't a good relationship ever but things happen where you're like oh you, I get I get what they are I know that's very that's very vague but like I said I don't want to spoil you guys um, just in case you go out there and read this, I hope you do actually because I would love to talk about it and see what other people feel like. Maybe it's just me who, who didn't connect quite with the story. So pretty much a run-of-the-mill contemporary with above average writing, a plot that you can probably guess from the beginning, a lot of cliches in here but very readable, super easy to do in one or two sittings. I did two because I enjoy sleep a lot and probably not my favorite or her, one of her best works but it might touch on the feels if this hits close to home. If you have any questions about this book or you want me to talk about anything in particular because you're interested in buying it but maybe not, let me know and I'll be more than happy to tell you all the things more about this that I can think of. That's that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. She's got a very similar structure to all of her stories, and the same is true for I Was Here. She doesn't very, 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 very much. <laughs> what is wrong with me? She's got a very similar bone structure. She's got a very... Bone structure.